Hello everybody, welcome to another general vlog video. Today we're going to do a winterization and I'm going to show you a quick and easy, quick, easy and dirty way to do it that you don't have to spend a ton of money and don't have to spend any time hardly on it. So the longest that it's going to take is getting to work. So I figured you guys might want to take a little trip with me. So here we are, uh, heading out. I just kind of figure, you know, you guys don't get out and about too much with the cold weather setting in. So I figured you guys get out and about with me and we'll go do this quick and easy job real quick. It's not a job actually. It's uh, just a place I got to winterize real quick. So, oh man, hope I didn't bore you guys too much with that ride. All right, so we're here. I'm gonna leave the heat on. I'm gonna grab a couple things in here real quick. Out of the back of my truck. And I'll explain to you guys when we get in there. All right, and we're in. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is turn the water on and let it kind of flush out a little bit because this place does not get used so we are going to kind of run the the stink out of the water so to speak we'll do the same thing in the bathtub we'll flush the toilet all right We'll go down here and we'll just kind of physically check on things. All right, I don't see no problems in here. Um, turn the light on in here. Go in here. I will leave these open because this is where the hot water heater is. So I'll leave that open. The hot water heater stays on so we don't have to drain yet. I will, real quick, physically look down inside the washer um, I'm going to put this washer real quick on a drain spin and just let it drain and spin real quick Okay, let's turn this over here to that. Make sure that, yep, make sure it's not filling. Okay, we'll go ahead and cut the water off. We'll go ahead and turn this water off. Now this is, it's taking me a little longer than it normally would because of the washer. Then we'll take the back of the toilet off. And then I'm going to look and see if there's an on and off, which there is. So let me get down here and turn this water off. There we go. Turn the water off and flush the toilet and hold the lever. And that lets a lot of the water out of it inside of the tank. We have the washer. Okay, that looks all right. It's just kind of spinning real quick to just make sure there's no water in the lines of the washer. It's just a little extra that I do. And then we're going to come in here and we're going to turn this water off. And then we're going to go outside. Oops. Real quick, something fell. Let's make sure we keep this door shut because the windows are pretty good or pretty bad, whichever you look at it. Hmm. I noticed that there's a window open in that spare bedroom. 
So I'm going to try to shut that. All right, let me see if this one right here is where the water is. Uh, let's see. I do believe it is. Uh, nope. Okay. Hold on just a second. Let me find the water. All right, and there's the water. So we'll cut it off. There we go. We'll kind of physically feel the heat tape. It is warm. So the heat tape's working. Okay, let me close this back up. All right. And now that that's back up, we're going to turn the water on. As you can see, there's nothing. Now, let me get this. <coughs> Excuse me. This is what I use. RV Marine Antifreeze. It's like $4 a gallon. And I'll show you what we do with it. All right. So real quick, we're just going to dump a little bit of it down in this one. And then a little bit down in this one. This just basically fills up the P-traps. And then we're going to come back here. And we're going to dump a little bit down this one. A little bit down this one. A little bit in the toilet. And that completes one gallon. So now let me go get the other gallon. All right, now that we got the other gallon and it's open, we're gonna dump it right in the back of the commode. I'm gonna use the whole gallon, but we're gonna put quite a bit in there. There we go. Eh, a little bit more. We're gonna put about half a gallon in there. There we go. And then we'll put the commode lid back on, the commode top. Hold on just a second, I gotta lay you guys down. All right, now that that's back on, we know we've got in there, we know we've got in here, and we know we've got in the back of there, and the washer will, uh, Look inside of it real quick. Yeah, I see nothing. All right, so we'll take and turn both hot water and cold water off. Let me, let me reach back in there. Hold on. All right, that took about two minutes. And as we can see, no water in it. We will leave the lid open if it'll allow us. And I gotta move this out just a little bit. All right, we'll leave the lid open. That'll allow heat to go down in there. Um, I think that's it. One other thing that I'll show you. Now we've been into this less than ten minutes, and it cost us less than eight dollars, or right around eight dollars to do. So now I'm going to lock the door. I'll show you there'll be one other thing that we're going to do. I got to be smarter than the door to be able to lock it. Okay, there we go. All right, now that's locked. All right, now that's locked. We know we want to make sure that the storm door is shut all the way. There we go. And now, we have an outside spigot over here. I know because I worked on this. We're going to open it up. And we'll wait on it to completely drain. Meanwhile, we'll go put these in the back of the truck. These are just our empties. <coughs> truck is still running because we weren't in there but about eight minutes trying to find the lids 
There they are. There's the lids in the back of the truck. Looks like I need to clean out the back of my truck, right? All right, so now we'll go back in here. And we got that thing still running. So we're going to wait until it quits running. All right, took about two minutes for that to completely drain. We're going to leave it open. That drained all the water lines in the house by opening that one up. All of them's open now. Nothing's vapor locked. Nothing's in the lines to freeze. Even if it did freeze, it has a way to expand because we left the uh, faucets open. So $8, 10 minutes worth of work, and we're done. So if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below. Like and subscribe. And once you do subscribe, smash that bell notification. Go all the way up to the top so you'll be notified on every single video that we post. And also share us on your Facebook on your fate blah, blah, blah. excuse me <laughs> my lips are frozen share us on your social media follow us on Facebook under general vlog video and remember that when I ask you to subscribe it's not like a magazine subscription it does not cost you a dime it's 100% free just helps our channel grow the same way that a thumbs up helps our channel grow this is just a, a quick and dirty way to do this it's really easy it's really inexpensive and now this place is winterized and can last the whole winter because it is right here on the lake i'm sure that wind's bothering you guys so with that being said i hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night and i'm behind the camera so i don't have to poke you guys in the ear we'll see you on the next video or the live stream hope you have a super super great day and please be safe